what's going on guys welcome to combo fishing USA if you are new or old welcome to combo fishing USA and thank you for watching what I'm gonna do today guys is to get a whole rig set up for you from the start to the end so that you guys can go out there and start fishing with this rig the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of people are asking me what rig should I be using to catch bluegill, crappies. This rig does not apply to specifically for smallmouth bass, okay? So I'm doing this. This rig will apply to all species. It doesn't matter what fish you are going after, okay? You can use power bait, live bait, any bait that you want to use there, okay? This year I didn't do much, you know, fishing for smallmouth at all i just target mostly like my bass but next year i'm going to be target lake area bass small mouse in the river and using the same rig and if you are watching my videos in the past you can see i catch a lot of fish with this rig okay so stay tuned first of all put the line inside the barber put the line inside the barber First, you put the line inside the barber. Then you put this weight. Now, this weight is to stop the barber from sliding up and down. And you can use this weight to adjust the barber up and down. So put the line inside this hole. Insert this weight inside the barber. Okay. Next, tie the hook. So hook here is size number two guys. You can use a bigger hook, okay, but using with wax worm, I prefer a smaller hook with wax worm. But it doesn't matter, you still can catch a big fish. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys on how to set this up. But you can use this to target any species, catfish, crappie, white bass, perch, anything. So now this is how I tie my knot. I wrap six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then this line go back inside the eye of the hook again. Okay, now this, oh, mosquito guy. Oh, now this and the line go through the loop here, okay? Go inside this loop here. Okay. Pull it straight up. Wrap it six more times. and pull it. Damn, mosquito. Then you have to cut this excessive line out, okay? So now you got this. You can put the split shot between this, this line. It depends how deep, how shallow the water you guys fishing, okay? So,
So this is a small, tiny split shot when I'm catching a small mouth in the river. But you can use a bigger hook. You can use this with crawfish, night crawler, it doesn't matter, okay? And this is how you adjust the barber up and down, okay? This line, if you want the barber to go deeper, move up, go shallow, move down, okay? And this is how you catch a lot of fish and use, using uh, wax worm, okay? I hope you guys can go out and start fishing with this rig. And if you want to use a double rig, okay, and I already set this up, but I will put the link on how to do a double rig. And this is my double rig, and as you can see the line here. Let me show you. Uh, come on. You see how I tie this 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 uh, line here? So I put my line here right between the head of the jig and the barber, okay? I'm not tying from this this uh, from the eye of the hook here. So I'm tying the knot between the head of the jig and the barb there, okay? And so that the line can go straight down like this. If you tie the line from here, it go like that, okay? It's sideways. It's still good, but I prefer to have straight down like this, okay, with the line and a single hook there. This is double rig I can use for steelhead and uh, small mile, whatever fish you want to cut with this, okay. And it's very good because now you got two chances. You can use jig or light bait or power bait. So you got two choices. The fish had to pick either crappie tube or whatever bait you used here, okay. And this is a double rig, okay. See that, okay. And this is my barber that I'm using with barber too, okay? Uh, when I'm using uh, this kind of rig, I usually catching both, you know, sometimes on the crappie tube, sometimes on the light bait. But it's, at this time of the year, guy, I prefer to use uh, wax worm because of fall, okay? Now, and maybe in the second week of uh, the first week or second week of, of, of October, I might be using crappie tube. So you have to understand what bait uh, the small mouth by the most okay, at, at a certain time of the year there, okay? But remember guys, in this video, you don't expect to see a five pounder, two pounders, or one pounder in this video, okay? The reason I'm doing this video here, I'm trying to show you guys how to rig this and you can use this kind of rig to catch any species. So don't expect to see a lot of big fish here, okay? Small fish, but next year I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, fishing with the small bait like the wax worm. Uh, this year I didn't focus that much because I just went around too much, you know, but uh, next year and I will do that and a lot of people ask me to do this kind of rig try to catch a fish from, you know, from a tiny uh, hook like uh, like this with a wax worm but somehow I didn't have much time to do it, okay but uh, coming in 2024 I will do a lot uh, with this fishing mostly probably in, in the river or at lake area, it depends on where, you know, I go there, okay so thank you and stay tuned. Get away from the snaggy spot Come on fishy 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 fishy
I got to turn on the GoPro. It's on the back swim guy. Ten inches, maybe eleven inches. Not a bad fish. Oh, no fish. You see, guy. Not bad. The wax one. See the hook. All right, see you next year, Mr. Smalley. <clears throat> this is how you catch monster bass from the river, guys. Watch this. Here we go. Told you. <laughs> I told you how to catch monster bass. Look, watch. <laughs> it's the biggest one. Oh, sorry. I hit the eye. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, fish. Long time to see you. You got a big night. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So what you try to do is not to put pressure on them, guys. Okay. So I don't want to traumatize. Just relax. Make sure it just. This one. Alright, so I got a whole bunch of hidden leaf down. Look at this.
Fish on. Can be good now. Can be good. Can be good. How are you? Oh. Snack them guys. Snack the bigger one. I don't know how I snack them. Another one. Woohoo! What do you got on? Oh, and the back swim guy. So, this bass not bigger than. <laughs> Look at this. Woohoo! Happy, happy. Uh -huh. Stop, 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 stop. See? Get bigger now. Woohoo! On a vaccine guy. Huh?
Really? See, look. Another small. Yeah. The only uh, rice worm, though. But when I, if I fish at uh, Molly Ford, I caught them both. Because I cast along the current. Yeah. I cast on a rock, and when it, it fell into that spot there, boom. <laughs> the fish are lying up right there. Hmm. Looks like you're catching them on the tail out. No, I think they're in there, all, all the spot down there, but it's just like they all move back and forth, move back and forth. Yeah. Caught him. This one's pretty bigger. That's big. Yep. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Got a, big, a decent size, guys. On the wax room. I, want, I don't want to put pressure on them because 
that's on the board guys so not bad see barely hooked to all right so not bad side finally have to be patient 12 inches Ah. God damn. 